Hey guys, in this episode, we anchor in the Mile Hammock Bay Anchorage, right off the ICW, near Camp Lejeune in North Carolina. There's some really crazy storms coming, and we have about three days of it, so we wanted to find a good spot, and I think this will do. Alright, we just woke up, it's four in the morning, and the wind and rain <laughs> immediately woke us up. It is nuts out, and it's just starting. I'm a little bit worried. Our boat's like... It's swinging all over the place, and the wind, man, some of the rain came in and just pounded the boat for a few minutes, and I think it was just to glimpse at what we're, what we're about to go through, so... Fingers crossed. Five minutes until the rain. Can't see the shoreline. I think it's maybe like three feet. Alright, so I think we're good. Alright, Jess, you ready for the storm? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. We have four minutes. Prepare the buckets. Both the buckets prepared. Prepare nope. the bags. <laughs> Let's stick some uh, bags up in the door now. <laughs> <laughs> buckets and bags. Buckets and bags. Wait, the storm is two minutes away. I hope it moves really quick. Wow, oh, that was over faster than I thought it'd be. We still have our bilge pump. Bilge pump alternatives set up. Sounds like the one on the other side is the only one that's really getting it. What is is it the bucket over there, Jess? Yeah, I stuck two buckets over there. So that might be all of it until eight a.m. Eight a.m. Now let's get some more sleep. Yes. It's a good day to test how well all that waterproof gorilla tape works. We put it all around the outside of the windows, on the outside, and it seems to be doing better now. We don't have as many leaks, and the we do have aren't as bad. So we'll just see how it goes. See any new leaks? Everywhere. Alright. <laughs> Looks like the other boats out there are repositioning. Huh. That white boat was on the other side. That green boat was closer. We might need to do the same here soon. We're getting pretty close to the land now. I really hope I don't have to go out and move the boat in this. Those boats are really getting close to each other now. I hope they get it all sorted. I don't even know what's going on out there, but it's not looking good. Looks like they worked it out a little bit. Man, that was close. All right, we have relocated the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're just going to leave the bed because this is kind of where we're going to hang out today. And uh, we have swung around completely. Those boats have settled out there. Our new anchor spots. And we're going to make some oatmeal. I love oatmeal. Kind of close to the shore over here. It's but a little freaking. I think if the wind continues to change as it is, it'll start pushing us away from the shore. Right now we're watching this heavy rain making its way all the way from the Gulf Coast and heavier activity into the mid-Atlantic states as it pushes to the east with snow developing behind it. So for tonight, strong storms for the Gulf Coast. That rain will move into the mid-Atlantic overnight. Tomorrow, periods of rain into the northeast with accumulating snow through New England as this double barrel low pushes through and by Sunday, it's off the coast. We're looking at the heavier accumulations along the southeast. We left these bowls out last night so you can see that's how much rain we got overnight. Just finished editing a video and I'm trying to export it and the inverter is going nuts and we don't have much sun out so we're only at 11.9 12 volts. Hope it holds out. I don't want to damage the battery. All right we just took a nice little shower and now we're refilling some bottles. Uh, I think that's our last five gallon jug of clean water so we're gonna have to stop soon and get some more but it's last us a decent amount of time uh feels great to like finally like wash my hair and yeah. myself <laughs> and uh okay. so this is this is nice uh the winds calmed down a little bit i think they're gonna pick back up we're gonna get a little more rain but it's good to see that there's boats going by which means uh it's not 
not as dangerous to be out there, but everybody here is anchored, is, has stayed here. We're contemplating whether we want to leave tomorrow or stay put. It looks like it's going to be nice and sunny, but it's still going to be pretty windy. So we'll see what the other people do um, and then just see how it is when we wake up and go from there. I turned on the hotspot on my phone and I'm uploading the next video, but it's only at 2% so it's going to take forever. We don't have much solar and it's at 12.3 volts right now. So we'll see how long it'll go and hopefully it'll get uploaded. I brought in the small 20 watt solar panel and it's actually charging through the window. So this is, this is awesome. The rain shouldn't last long, so I'll put it outside when it's done. All right, we were about to play some dominoes. You're about to get your butt whooped. Oh. <laughs> really good with numbers. Really good. Where do we get those dominoes? From uh, Stuart and Holly. They're both named as Lady of Metal and they're awesome people. And we played dominoes a couple nights and it was so much fun. And then they had these and they were like, you guys take these with you. And we were very, very grateful because now we're about to play them. Cool. Found a great place to dry our towels. Upgrade. <laughs> What a beautiful sunset, my dear. <laughs> it's gorgeous out there, isn't it? Cheerio, chub. Just don't stare at it. Stop the looking at it. Ow. Yeah. We should get some curtains. I made them. I just can't get them to stay up there. We'll keep working <laughs> on it. <laughs> swinging back and forth, swinging back and forth. All right, what are we having for dinner tonight? We're having some noodles and triple succotage. It's a wonderful blend of corn, tomatoes, and lima beans. And some spices. It's pretty good. Nice. Pretty good. And then some seasoned noodles. They're just about ready. Perfect. It is really nice out here. Boats moved around. Everybody's ready for the gale force winds that are coming tonight. I thought it was Sunday, but it's still only Saturday. We've been here for... How long have we been here? Two days. Feels like longer. It does. We washed our hair today. It was good. That, that made a huge difference. We just leaned our head over the side and rinsed it off. <laughs> now we're playing some dominoes. And it's pretty tied up. No, I'm winning. <laughs> hot, hot. <laughs> Already. Seeing strong winds and hazardous seas continue through Sunday. No. No. One more night of this. Hopefully, hopefully the water isn't too low tomorrow when we wake up. And uh, I don't want to drag the propeller. No. <laughs> Sitting here at low tide, our propeller is six inches above the bottom. And we don't re really have much wiggle room. So we're either going to have to move closer to these other boats or we're gonna have to find another place and the winds are gonna be really strong tomorrow so uh, fingers crossed we're just gonna keep an eye on it okay, I can see the bottom all right I 
just checked with the, the little poker stick thing to see how much room we had, and we only had maybe like three inches of water between us and the bottom. And it's really windy now. I don't really want to deal with the anchor and move. If it gets any worse, we're going to have to. It's right at the bottom of low tide right now, so I really hope it's going to come up soon. So I'm going to keep checking on it, and if we have to move, we have to move. But as we swing, maybe we'll swing into some some lower water, but also maybe we'll swing into some more shallow water. Because the winds are coming from the west, and they're about to start coming from the northwest. And I think we're going to get pushed the other way. I don't know if it's more shallow over there because we haven't swung that way yet. Ah, this is making me a little nervous. Definitely making sounds that we haven't heard before. <coughs> it's spinning around, it's spinning us around like crazy. This is nuts. It's, and it's about to get even worse. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take much more than this. Mm-hmm. 